I want to share to you the most important uh, topic for the permanent residence application. So this is one of the stages on the permanent residence applications. So basically there are many stages you have to undergo before you would have into this stage. And this is the best. I mean, this is the the very, this is the email that everyone wants to see. And they are very excited to read about it. So, you know, when you have this email, you would be very excited. You would have your feelings in a cloud nine, simply because this is the approval email on your permanent residency. Woo! Once you receive this email, you are approved on your permanent residency applications. So what are these emails? This is the portal one email. So most of the people on the, uh, most of the people who apply for a permanent residence, they called it as a portal one. So after all the stages of medical, AOR, or PCC requests, and all of that stuff, once everything is approved for your criminal check, security check, and all of that stuff, you would receive your approval. Yay! So this is called a portal one. So what is a portal one email, by the way? Uh, so this is exactly based on my experience so take note that whatever I'm sharing in my videos is my personal experience and I'm not a professional immigration consultant or anything like that I'm just sharing this for information for everyone who wants to you know have some understanding on what's the whole thing about applying for a permanent residence here in Canada. So yeah, so Portal 1 is something like you will receive an email from the IRCC PR portal. So the subject would be something like IRCC Permanent Residence Portal PR Confirmation. I would share that on my video, the email itself that I have received from the IRCC. So what is inside the email? So the email would have like a simple note of welcome to permanent resident confirmation uh, welcome to permanent resident confirmation portal process the attached pdf contains information and instructions regarding the confirmation portal process for your review once you have reviewed the document hit reply to send the requested information outlined in the document and then you would see at the bottom from which uh, office have sent it to you so on my part it's from Etobico IRCC so we have in Alberta we have in Sydney we have in Montreal we have in Ottawa so that actually depends on from which office they have sent it to you but it doesn't matter from which any office is that as long as you would receive your portal one you still consider this approved <laughs> So there is an attachment, a PDF attachment, with the dates of when they would they have sent you an email, your name, your UCI number, your application number starts with EP, your date of birth, and your email. So basically, if you are a family, let's say a family of three or four or five, all of you would receive an email, a portal one email. So you would have it on the email that you have registered during your applications. Uh, so, there would, and this is the very important uh, thing with the email. You would read the words, your application for permanent residence has been approved. And that's the greatest email you would receive. You know, all of a sudden, you are approved after all the steps that you've been done, and all 
the documents you have submitted at last you have been approved meaning everything is done all all reviewed and you have passed for everything so the final step in processing your application is to confirm your permanent residence and create your permanent resident card you'll complete this process through the permanent resident portal or the pr confirmation so if you applied online on the first instance then you would know already this pr portal or the permanent resident portal but if you have applied by a paper base this would be like your first time for your permanent portal so with that the ircc will create you an account and they will send you a link and they will give you your username and password otherwise if you already use it before or you applied your permanent residence online then you have an access with your portal so for that you would be using your own uh, username and password but i would explain that on the portal too for now we'll discuss the portal one so in the portal one you would receive the email and then you have to apply back with them put in your name your uci your email you need to use one email for the whole of your family let's say you are five you can use one email for all of you five 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 member of the family and then your original entry date from the canada this is the date when you are first land in canada not when you travel go back home and travel back again to canada no the first time you went in canada and then the date of last time you entered canada so meaning you came in canada you went home for vacation and then you came back again and then then that 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 is your last time you entered the canada so that's the date you have to put in next is the location where you last entered you need to fill out which where where did you enter in canada are are you did you enter in british columbia in toronto or anywhere in canada so when we say location where you last entered in canada is your you let's say you came here in canada in 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 the toronto the first time and then you went back home and then you came back again and then you landed in British Columbia because you have a connecting flight going to Toronto. So, meaning, the location where you last entered is British Columbia. So, basically, the location is like whenever you landed and then encountered a, a VO, or immigration officer, to check your passports and documents, that is the location where you last entered. So there is also questions that are you currently inside Canada? You have to tell them yes if you're inside Canada and if no, you have to tell them no. If you are not inside Canada, where is when is your expected return date? So if you're outside Canada, you have to tell them when is your expected date so that they would know, oh, you're coming back on this date. You know why? Because if you're outside Canada, you cannot move on to a portal to and you cannot have your confirmations of permanent residence why because you cannot enter canada without your permanent resident card and that permanent resident card can only be delivered on your canadian address not outside the country so take note of that so that's why it's better if you're inside canada when you receive a portal one so that you would have your portal 2 and your PR card as soon as possible otherwise if you're outside Canada then you have to tell them you're, you're outside and then tell them when are you coming back so let's say you came back here now then reply again on the portal 1 email and tell them you're already inside the Canada from that they will process your your application and you will receive your portal 2 and take note guys if you are four or five members of the family you have to do the same thing for the five you have to copy paste all these informations requested by the iricc so it's very straightforward and very simple just to apply 
on each item that they are asking and then send it back to the same email address. So once you have sent those informations, the IRCC will create a, uh, a will create an account for you for all of the member of the family on the IRCC portal. After they created that, maybe after like let's say two to three up to one week or two weeks time maximum. After that, you would receive a portal to email. The portal to email, I'm going to share to you that on my next videos. For now, this is all the information for what they call portal one. So I hope you have a good information and I hope everyone who have their permanent residence application will receive their portal one email because this is the greatest email that you would ever, ever receive, especially if you're applying for a permanent resident here in Canada. Thank you for watching. I would appreciate if you hit the heart button down below and I hope you enjoy all of this information that I am sharing with you and I hope you would also watch more of my videos related to my permanent resident journey here in Canada. Thank you for watching.